What does it mean to be born again? This is an essential question that we're going to answer today. Hey guys, what's up? It's Isaac David, and this is The Daily Disciple, where I help you find Jesus and follow him daily. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone on Patreon because of your support. This ministry keeps going and growing, and truly, um, it's my goal and my passion to be able to do this full time. This is my life's mission, and through your guys' support, you are enabling me to get closer to that goal and just supporting the ministry, investing in what God is doing. It's such a blessing. So thank you so much. And if you want to help support, you can head on over to the link in my bio. Okay. Today we are talking about what it means to be born again. I say this is an essential question. Why is it such an essential question? Well, Jesus said, truly, truly, unless you are born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So if Jesus says you need to have this thing happen or do this thing in order to enter the kingdom of God, you know, it's serious. So what does it actually mean to be born again? Well, somebody else had this same question. A Pharisee Nicodemus asked Jesus the same question. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is within them. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Now, this sometimes confuses people. People sometimes say, okay, is this referring to baptism? Do we have to be baptized in order to be saved? Well, I've done a lot of research on this and so have a lot of other scholars. And what they've concluded is that this idea of water is a symbolic washing, right? It's not that we need to be baptized in order to be saved, but when Jesus talks about water, it's a washing of ourselves. And Titus 3 uh, verse 5 makes this more clear. He saved us not because of the works done by us in righteousness. It's not something that we do, but according to his own mercy, by the washing of regeneration, the washing of regeneration, this washing that takes place by the regeneration that happens when we receive Jesus, when we put our faith in him, that regeneration takes place and the renewal of the Holy Spirit. When we believe in Jesus, when we put our faith in him, that we are indwelt by by the Holy Spirit. That's what it means to be born again. We are saved by the washing of regeneration and the renewal of the Spirit. We are indwelt with the Holy Spirit. He gives us a new heart with new desires. So this idea of being born again, it's not some weird like mythical, oh, born again. It's simply putting our faith in Jesus and God making us a new creation, right? We are made a new creation in Christ. The old is gone, the new has come. To hit home the point further, how do we experience this being born again? Well, in Romans 10, 9, it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. And to be saved is to be washed by the regeneration and renewal of the spirit, as it says in Titus. Um, from there, we follow Jesus, not because we have to in order to earn our way to God, in order to please him so well, he'll see us as good enough to earn our salvation. No, we follow him. Uh, because he's been so gracious in loving and saving us, not by our own works. And he begins to transform us. Now that we are indwelt by the Spirit, he transforms us into his image. Yes, we will fail. And believe me, I've had so much failure in my life as a Christian. People, sometimes people are like, oh yeah, all my failure was before I was a Christian. Now I'm a Christian and everything's great. And I'm generally, um, you know, successful in what I'm doing and, and, and holy and good. But it's like, yo, I, I became a Christian and I experienced so much temptation and failure in falling back into sin, whether that was lust or greed or just anger and selfishness. And I continue to battle to that, that to this day, right? And we as Christians, we need to acknowledge that, okay, look, being born again, being a Christian, that doesn't mean that all of our um, struggles are gone. No, we're still going to experience struggles, temptation, and even failure. But what it means to be a disciple is to look in the eyes of Jesus and see him welcoming, welcoming us again to get up and walk and follow him. And that's all through his 
grace. We can't do that alone. We can only only do that through his power and presence in our life. And that's why it's so essential that we are born again, that we put our faith in him, that we are washed by the regeneration and renewal of the spirit. And that's something that God is welcoming us to do each day, to have renewed faith in him. That's what it means to be a disciple. And that's what this ministry, Daily Disciple, is all about. It's all about helping you find Jesus and follow him daily. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below and subscribe because I'm putting out new videos all the time. You can support my ministry on Patreon in the link in my bio, and it's only through your support that I can continue to do this. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you next time. God bless.